So I've got this Sega Mega Drive uh, 2, Mega Drive 2, uh, in the US known as a Genesis, but this is a Australian PAL model, Mega Drive 2. Um, and, well, it doesn't work. So we are going to pull it apart and see what's what. Uh, this one I haven't had, obviously it's missing, still got the thing there, cover, but it is definitely missing the uh, adapter plate beforehand. No, uh, not the adapter plate, what am I saying? Ugh, the cover for the expansion part on the side here. Um, not quite sure what we'll find in this one, um, but uh, from my testing of it, it uh, powers on, but just gives a black screen. So, let's see what we've got. Alright, we've got some cool. Pretty dirty shield here, a little bit rusty at the top here. Usually indicates that uh, just a bunch of crap's gotten in the human environment. Oh, uh, and I already don't like what I see because I can see, even without taking the shield off, I'm missing a screw down here. Which usually means someone's already been in here. Um, and even outside the shield, I can see some, just some corrosion in these traces in here. Well, let's take the shield off. Put to the side. And let's just extricate all of the screws. Good look over the board. Nothing's. Oh, yeah, no, I was gonna say nothing's jumping out at me, but uh, I've definitely got some. Let me, let me zoom you in a little bit. Oops, there we go. Definitely got some uh, corrosion on the board in these traces right here. You can see, I think this capacitor has actually leaked as well. Um, and I've just noticed this one over here where the power. Ooh, where are you? There you are. The um, this is where the, the, the uh, power input comes in through here and the, the processing for the output jack. But this capacitor here, it's the 23, has definitely leaked as well. And you can see some corrosion around the traces there. Hmm. Back out. Okay. So. You know, at least two capacitors I'm going to want to replace. I mean, I'll most likely want to recap everything on this board, but those are the two obvious ones to start with. And I can see some more, some corrosion just around the edge of the board here as well. Uh, the edge of the uh, connector, sorry. Some of these traces. Uh, just these ones, three here. There's a couple of lines there, and... Going down around this edge here. Oh, and I can also see some heavy corrosion just here in these traces. This is not a happy board. Hmm. Um, let's take it out of the case. So to do that, we need to take off the two screws. Let's have a look on the... Oh. Yeah. Oh, and that one's... maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Someone has definitely been in here before. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, so we've got two bodge wires. I can't even see where this one was con was connected to. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, no, it looks like it was that pin right there. Let's see you guys back down again a bit. Let's get to about there. So it looks like it was, yeah, this pin right in there. That via, sorry. It looks like it was there, which actually matches with how it kind of naturally wants to fold. Um, we've got a 47 microfarad 
up here. That is for, I don't know what that's for, what that's doing there. That's between the, oh, I can't remember which pin that is. It's one of the uh, output pins and the ground. Uh, filtering of some kind. Hmm. All right. Where to start? <laughs> well, I'd like to take these two bodge wires off to begin with, because God knows why they were there. All right, so let's begin. Like I said, just removing these bodge wires. And you know what we'll do as well? Uh, let's grab a little bit of wick. So I'm guessing someone's tried to something, remove the cartridge port, I suppose, and those pads have been lifted. So they've traced the pins out and jumped them at the vias. Okay, so that explains why these were why they were there. Yeah. Yeah, so that one goes back there. It's actually... Take a quick look with the magnifying glass of Doom. You can see that there. Let's look at the little sight glass, shall we? You can quite clearly see the lifted traces there. No, you can't see squat. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Two sets of lifted traces. Right there. Okay, so. I'm gonna have to rep repair that. Not quite sure how I want to do that just yet. It looks like the rest are in good health though. Yep. Okay, so it's just those two. That one and that one. And I'll just trace that out as well because I don't know who did this. Yeah, okay, that one's correct. Now we're meant to... This one. Hmm, that's wrong. That could be why it was not working. Let's try set again. Yeah, no, that's definitely wrong. Okay, let's try it backwards. So it's actually this fire right up here. <sighs> okay, let's just give that a quick dub so we can spot it later on. Oh boy. Um, all right. Well, let's put this one back, because that one actually does look like it needs to go there. So let's grab our big captain. 
type. Actually, before we do that, let's grab. So I just want to clean up this flux. I've had a look at the rest of this board while I've been working here, and I can't actually see any corrosion damaging the traces on the underside. It's just obviously these two uh, damaged terminals for now. Um, but so what I want to do is yeah, clean up all of this flux and whatnot. And what I use for that is these is my IPA, of course, an isopropyl alcohol. But I also like to use these uh, makeup pads. They're actually really good for for wiping this kind of thing. Just give it a quick liberal spray and then. That's nice and clean now. Much better. So yes, let's get just a good amount of captain tape over that. Let's put a bit on the top here. Hold that one, give it some security. A nice long bit this way to secure the rest. Beautiful. They ain't going nowhere. Where you going? Nowhere. All right, so. I'm going to leave this capacity here for the time being until I can figure out kind of what it's there for. But you know what? Let's plug this in to start with now that we've uh, fixed an obvious fault and see if that was enough to get it. Maybe that was the only problem with this board, even though I can see corrosion and broken caps. I doubt it will work right now, but. Well, you never know. Okay, so we've got our power and our connector plugged in. Let's have a look. My normal tester that I use is Columns, because, well, it's the only game I've got handy, and it's the only game I don't care to keep in my collection, because they're very cheap. So let's power it on, and we get our power line, and still just a black signal. So it is my device is detecting that it, there is a signal coming in, a composite signal output, but yeah, still blackness. Let's just, let's just try and knock that in a couple of times, give it another try. Yeah, it's still nothing. Okay. So back to the drawing board. Let's get these out. Let's have a look. So like I said, this capacitor and this capacitor, let's just, let's just remove those. Let's start with that. So we're gonna to have to <laughs> pull this cap in a bit. Back just a touch. And this one. Because it's right in the way. Alright, now it's um, Trim that one back, shall we? Okay, so those are the two terminals right there. So let's grab our solder wick. There we go. She's out. Damn it if I remember which way that went. Anyway, let's worry about that later. Let's clean up that contact. Okay. So what are you? You are a 10 volt 47 microfarad. Let's take a real good look at these contacts, these wires right here. They are super corroded. All right, let's grab, let's grab another Q-tip. 
I'm not gonna spray that whole area, I'm just gonna dunk this time. Yeah, so they're still there. Well, the, cor the corrosion's still there at least. Well, while we're here, let's take out this one as well. So that's. Uh, let's go horizontally. So it's these two contacts right there. So that's. Looks like it's leaked. What are we? We are a hundred microfarad, ten volt. Oh yeah, there's lots of lots of damage up underneath there. Alright, so let's we've got a little This is my bottle of vinegar. So just to counteract any electrolytes that might be on there, just any, anything basic, we'll just give it a wipe down with some quick vinegar. Alright, well, that's what I'll do. Like I said, I'm going to scrape back these. You guys can see there. Let's reposition you and zoom you in a bit. This is where I'm working. Right down in the bottom corner here. Let's have a trace. Let's get this bottom one. Yeah, so this bottom one does go all the way over that way. Thankfully though, that one's intact, so let's get the next one up. So that one goes to there. Which comes from here. I might be able to jump with these. And now let's trace out and do the rest. Okay. Those wires are repaired. Well, are repaired. Still gotta put this capacitor back in, so let's clean that back up.
So we have a replacement. Seven ten volt. So let's pop that in there. Positive is this side. Dunish. All right. Let's replace this one too. So it actually doesn't look like there's too much damage on this one. So let's just. Replace that like for like, no repairs, what have we got? We have 100 microfarad, 10 volt. So good and positive on that side. So I don't know if you can see it there, there's a little plus sign. Oof, you are blown out. Let's get that light sort of back around the other way. So it's got a little plus right there. <laughs> Thankfully, with this uh, damaged trace there, we've got actually a vial right there. So let's test from this side of the capacitor to the vial. And we're good. So that's not actually, that's not an issue. I can't see any other major issues. So. Let's give that a try again, shall we? Let's get our plugs. Columns. What have we got? Power again. Oh! Look at that. There you go. Beautiful. Working Mega Drive. Just to be sure, to be sure, let's plug in a controller. If I have one handy somewhere. There we are. Give it a controller to the front port here. And let's give it a test. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, working brilliantly. Okay, so it's a little bit dodgy. The wire repair didn't work particularly well, but we've got it back. So the main culprit there looked like we had two damaged capacitors this one here and this one here and some dead traces which have now been repaired with these well yeah bodge wires so what we'll do to secure these ones just to protect these is pop another little bit of captain wherever anywhere that we've scratched the terminals which is mostly up here or we'll soldered a new connection just so that they're nicely secured to the board. It protects against any uh, jiggling and movement. And that should be that. Alrighty. We can look at the rest of the capacitors, they're actually looking pretty healthy, so I'm probably not going to change anything for now. I'll leave it be. We'll see how that goes. I can always recap this. I, I, yeah, I mean, bored with this many bodges, I don't think it's really worth doing a full recap on, you know. It's already had so much work done. It's not, it's never going to be pristine. So um, I, I reckon I'll just leave this one as is. And uh, put it back together, be done with it. And let's give it one final test. And let's go back together. Um, let's grab a different game. Let's grab that controller again. The 
This is Flashback, one of my all-time favorite Mega Drive games. Turn it on, get our light. Here's our startup. Hey. Delphi and software. Oh yeah. This is a, just an outstanding game. If you haven't played Flashback, I highly recommend it. Fantastic intro, look at this cutscene. Ah, oh, just fantastic. And the music for, ah, oh, 1993. Amazing MIDI, MIDI quality sound. <laughs> Oh no. Let's skip that. Let's Let's go away. Yeah. It's all working great. All right. Cool. So, I'll take that off. Now the case is obviously needs a little bit of work. It's got uh, quite a lot of dirt. Oh, in the, in the edges here, and there's a good amount of scuffs. So I might take a little bit of time to clean that up. Polish, I don't have a replacement uh, cover for here, but uh, I'm sure I can find one in the pile from a Mega Drive that I can't repair. And it looks like this uh, Seagull logo has actually been damaged quite badly beyond repair, really. So this is never going to win. Good looks category, but uh, yeah, as far as Mega Drives that weren't working, that are now working, here's the one.